team's coming down the bike and uh, it's the middle of December and we're out here running around in Bushwick. We're just going to drift around like the uh, poor blue flown there. We're out here at Outlet in Bushwick and we're going to take a look at the Outlet Annual Invitation. Come over and give us a uh, running uh, running commentary. First, introduce yourself. All right. Hi there. My name is Julian. I'm one of the co-founders and directors here at Outlet Gallery. Okay, Julian. So we're going to make a quick run through here. Yep. Cooper Holowski. Yep. Uh, this is a piece called Paul's Home Office. Uh, it's from a new series of works, or like a fairly new series of works that he's doing. Archival inkjet print. Mm -hmm. Edition of five. This piece I actually kind of liked. Uh, Ryan Brennan. Ryan Brennan. Thailand Confessions of Spirit from Clay Body. And uh, this is yeah, this is totally new um, work for him, and he's kind of resolved some really interesting things in his process. Uh, I think the relationship between. Uh, the formal aspects of his work and the conceptual are particularly well executed in this. And I like what he's doing with the technology here and sort of uh, taking it apart and laying it out there so you can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. This is by Norman. Norman Jabout. This is titled Wyckoff. Yeah, so those are all, everything in there has uh, been found, found on Wyckoff Street. Found on the street. We've got some uh, 3D printed objects by wow. Philip Stearns, and those are actually printed in nylon. Mm -hmm. Those are actually algorithmically de uh, derived. So, so these are not based on natural shells. He just uh, pure math kind of <laughs> figured out a mathematical calculation. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Natalie Simon. Don't tread on me. Pencil, wood, steel, and magnets. Well, Natalie's quite a draftsman, drafts person. Yeah, and it's also new work by her. Very pressing issue she's dealing with there. This is a South African artist. Jamie Van, Van Ziel. Ziel. This pen. Cybernetic samurai pen on paper. I wanted to go back and take a look at this piece. Double-sided work here. Joshua and it, Johnson. Right. This also refers to a uh, little uh, video screens on phones. Mm -hmm. This piece is called Exoneuropathy. It has to do with the uh, externalization of our brains into technology. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like fun, and we've got just some resin that he's poured on the back here, and... Uh, and he's actually pigmented it with uh, foundation, women's makeup foundation, to give it this kind of flesh tone. Furthering that in Candy Valley. So we're going to uh, run in the back here and take a little sweep around here. <laughs> I like this piece. That's Gazoo to the moon, and that's the Motivatron. The Motivatron. And this is on a uh, wood panel, huh? It's, yeah, is that a door? A, is that what that is? A hollow door. core door? And then we've got the fluorescent tape. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a positive figure there designed to motivate you. This is the first space shuttle. And who is this by? That is by Alan Kleinberg. He was uh, sent on assignment from Rolling Stone magazine to cover the first space shuttle launch in 1981. It's a beautiful and photograph. And that's probably what, about uh, 60 inches tall? Something like that, about Around there, five yeah, feet? Yeah, I think uh, in the frame it's about 60. This is a reverse abstraction by Ashley Lusin, uh, Zielinski, also 3D printed nylon. Doesn't Ashley Z Z Zielinski have a uh, gallery or something that she works with? Um, she is the building manager for the Active Space. Active Space, that's what I thought. But doesn't she do 
curating for them as well and sort of run the, run the gallery. Okay, we got a couple, couple of other pieces we're going to hit on the way out. Sure. That's uh, Marjorie right there. This is a new piece by her, a new framing uh, technique also. So is this on the glass or is there a piece of uh, celluloid or something that she's done this on? Yeah. You can see through that piece. And that almost has the uh, line quality of uh, computer graphic work. Mm. This is Leslie Kirby. This is kind of straight collage, but those are little pieces of etched paper. Is that what she's got etching in there? Uh, that's correct. Yeah, she's done some woodcuts and some etchings Woodcutch. and then collaged her own work into this new series on uh, shipping containers. And so she's kind of investigating uh -huh. public spaces. And I guess we should catch up on this piece. This is a gigantic piece by Chinese artist Bai Ye. Bai Ye. So we've got some wallpaper here, and this is all done with uh, some kind of digital graphics. Got it. Though it doesn't repeat, and this is actually really? one of a series of four uh, gigantic pieces. So it's about 10 by 10 feet, uh, and then with the accompanying uh, prints, this digital prints here, uh, uh, rocks. Oh. And we'll wrap up looking at this gelatin silver print here, actually. Yeah, four-part gelatin silver print of animals. <laughs> that is taken from uh, security cameras uh, that are publicly accessible, though they might not know that they're publicly accessible. You know, I, uh, I definitely keep a uh, security camera on my parakeet. You never know what the heck those guys are going to be doing <laughs> there when nobody's looking. All right, Julian, here at Outpost. Outlet. Outlet. <laughs> and this is the Outlet Annual Invitational. How many of these have you had? <laughs> it's um, annual. This is, this is kind of our second one. <laughs> okay. Second All right, annual. I guess that makes it an annual. Out here at Outlet. All right. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, now we're going to pop into one of the... Uh, more impressive new galleries that has popped up here in the last year or so. Odetta. Hello. Well, I'm gonna take a look at this show. Mostly painters. Well, we've snagged the proprietor here. Okay, introduce yourself. Ellen Fagan. Okay, Ellen. And you were just telling me that this is your fifth show that you've had here? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a beautiful space. Thank you. Um, we're just going to make a quick run through here, but we're going to take a look at some of the paintings. Mm -hmm. Gregory Curry. <laughs> Lucid Interval. Um, is there a theme to the show? Becoming. This is one of our friends, Deborah Brown, and uh, Deborah runs a space called Storefront, uh, a couple of blocks north of here. What's the title of this one? Brown and Hunter. And this is based on a Velasquez painting, is that yes. it? And Deborah's uh, <laughs> kind of uh, exaggerated the slippery brush strokes here. I like what Deborah's doing with this latest body of work. It's another piece by Deborah. <coughs> More by Gregory. Tell us about Gregory. Have I seen his work before? Has he shown uh, in Williamsburg? Do you know? He, he was in the, um, 
front room gallery. Some front room. With ah. With couples. Okay. Uh, no, they're 15th anniversary shows. Excuse me. Um, All right, we saw that just last month. I actually like this group of works. This is Mary Dwyer. And uh, these are kind of based on maybe Civil War era um, political cartoons, something yes. like that. Yes, Thomas Nast. Thomas Nast. Some of the tales of Thomas Nast. And then the suffragettes. It's titled The Fighting Irish. Acrylic on board. And I would say that's probably about 18 by 20 inches, something like that. Oh. Somebody's got a red dot. Yeah, we've got a nice red dot. Taming the Tammany Tiger, okay. And here are some of the suffragettes. The Grimke sisters. The Grimke sisters. This is actually a nice suite. I like this just coloristically. They're beautiful. Those were the colors of the suffragette movement. Okay, same, same colors as the Los Angeles Lakers, huh? <laughs> That's <days>. interesting, yeah. <laughs> so you can see their badges that they're wearing, and they used to hold big rallies with banners on those colors. And the steps of the Supreme Court. Tell us about this uh, installation piece. This is Alice Mon. Alice Mon? Mon. M-O-M-M. M-O-M-M. And the piece is called Bark. And these are kind of like little uh, profiles or silhouettes, but it's all, is that birch bark? Is that it's what you kinds All of kinds. Birds. And leaves. Very humble. Here we got some painting going on there, I believe, right? Uh -huh. That one's called Color Field. I like this. We've got a little canoe. That one's Daniel Boone Watches. So she finds the character in the bark and then pulls it out. And these are all uh, installed, so they're sort of sticking off the surface on pins. It's very delicate. Now, would you say that your gallery has kind of a um, program that features a lot of painting? I would say, in the end, yeah, uh, it will. I, I, I really Are really you a painter yourself? I am. And I do <laughs> love painting. <laughs> I have a real deep love for okay. painting. Okay. I know they've got a 12-step program for people like you. Oh, good. I may need it. <laughs> Except it's, you know we're not going to make you quit painting. We're going to make you get in there and spend more time in the studio. Some more Deborah. I also like the way that she's kind of um, varying the size of the strokes. So you've got the tiny, tiny little, almost calligraphic things that sweep up to the big, kind of arm swinging gestures. Okay, what was the title of the show again? Becoming. Becoming. That's up through January fourth. Closing reception January 3rd with Lisa Levy. Oh. She will be Dr. Lisa. Dr. Lisa. So if you're tattooed and you want your tattoo analyzed. Tell us what the address here is at Odetta. Is this? 229 Cook Street. 229 Cook Street. Yeah. All right. Right south. In Bushwick. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to see you. <laughs> well, now we're crossing the Williamsburg Bridge. We're gonna drop in and see a show in the Lower East Side. Well, we're down here on Orchard Street, and uh, it's 
Sunday night, so it's rather an odd time for an opening. But we're gonna jump in here to Leslie Heller Gallery. And uh, we're just gonna run through a show by Devin Powers through the valley. Well, uh, Devin Powers is one of uh, what I think is the younger, more interesting painters, and uh, I was uh, excited to see this show because I, I saw some reproductions, but uh, now that I've come in and seen uh, some of the actual work, I think this is, is even more uh, an unusual progression than I thought. So this piece is titled Through the Valley and it's oil on carved wood. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a big change. It's titled Night Wind. It's 24 by 16 inches. Now, uh, I would be excited to find out whether he's doing this with some kind of uh, Routing tool, or where he's actually down there with his little hammer and chisel, it does look like it. This is all done by hand, and uh, it's also interesting that he's kind of uh, doing some more, I guess, what I would say, limited or more subtle things with his palette. This is a beautiful piece, it's titled Transformer. And uh, it's 72 by 36. And one of the things that uh, I noticed when I saw a reproduction of this was that uh, Devin's previous work that I'd seen had all been kind of geometrical, these kind of crystalline forms. And uh, so when I saw these kind of wavy pattern forms, I thought that was a, that was a big change. But uh, the uh, the carving and the cutting through the surfaces or something else and uh, I was also going to say this almost looks like it's kind of um, warped a little bit so that uh, not only are the forms kind of warped and wobbly but the, the ground is also kind of warped very nice oh, I was impressed with this piece Dark Study, 16 by 15 inches, and uh, this is more or less monochrome, but uh, you get a chance to see the forms that he's working with. I guess it's an eight-pointed star. It's nice. This is titled Lion, 72 by 48. be interesting to find out whether he uh, he keeps carving on these after he starts painting them or whether he carves them first and then paints them and uh, it's great the way that uh, kind of the sculptural forms and the painting forms meld it's got some uh, scraping some crackle coming through Chip, there's the artist right there. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good. I was very impressed with the uh, the developments of the work. Oh, well, thank you. So this is all carved wood. It is. Are it you is. carving this with like a hammer and a chisel and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Chisel, hammer, gouge. Yeah. There's no power tools just because I don't like the noise of them. Yeah. Well, hey, you're a big guy. You don't need power tools, right? <laughs> I was also wondering... Um, do you keep carving on them after you start painting, or is it do. you've carved them first? So this it's this one actually. I, I, this one I spent about a year on. It's a beautiful it, piece. It started like I thought it was done six months in. I exhibited it, and then I took it back, and I realized it wasn't done. And I actually repainted, recarved it. These parts are new to the carving, and then carved the edge differently, and then repainted. Yeah, it's, it's like a very organic process. Are you able to? 
I mean, if you cut out too much, are you able to sort of add wood back in there and go back in, or is it all strictly kind of uh, I removing? I think that's something in the future I probably will. I probably will add too. Okay. But right now it's, it's like, you know, it gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Until you can put them in your pocket, right? All right, Devin, congratulations. The show looks great. I'm going to look at some more. Thank you for coming out. I love the developments. Thank you. Okay, so this is nice. And, oh, there's Leslie Heller, the proprietor, and a beautiful piece behind her. Well, I uh, schmoozed my way here behind the desk so we could take a closer look at this one. It's also a very nice little piece. And uh, yeah, I kind of like uh, the ruggedness. Those little paint scubbies. Of course, my old teacher Knox Martin used to call them boogers. And uh, yeah, that palette is nice. Oh, this is yummy. Wooden oil on carved wood, 30 by 24 inches. And uh, gosh, this is a beauty. Well, it's great the way that uh, is kind of an illusion with the painted surface, and then there's the actual carved surface and the shadows and. Somebody's actually enhancing the reality, and other parts he's kind of playing down the reality. Oh, that's a beauty. You could have that for four grand. Well, we're gonna wrap up our little Sunday evening drift around the Bushwick and Lower East Side art scenes right here at Devon Powers through the valley. Leslie Heller's workspace, and I believe the address is 58 Orchard Street. And as always, thank you, Kate.